This is a three phase electric meter KV2CE. The E has no demand feature. So this is a GE fits all meter, three phase, seven jaw meter. Works in Y or Delta. You've got the lugs for three different phases, and this one connects up to the neutral wire. Now what's interesting about this, this is a GE fits all KV2CE and the E on there has no demand feature and the electric company here is put on here ND for no demand. The features on a fits all have these little bubbles on here whether the features enabled. Little dots are filled in. This one nuns fit in but this particular meter there's no clamp on here that goes through little toggle deal that pushes on the button to reset the demand by the meter man does. This is the optical port. This is the demand reset feature. And so the C model does and the KV2 I believe does. But the one with the E, it's a little bit more of an obscure model, has no demand on it. So you can't reset the demand and it, I don't believe this reads out in the demand. This is a class 200 meter which means it has built-in meter uh, shunts for the current. Four wire form 16S. There's KT 21.6, 50, 60 hertz. Test amperes 30. This is the date that's manufactured 1207. There's a software rev and I believe this ITRON, the FCC, that's the uh, smart meter gizmo that's in there. I've got the globe off and the fits all. The piece that's missing on here kind of has a toggle like this. What that does, it touches a button that's right in there and that button is going to go through and push this down for the reset. I believe it lines up with, uh, hits the R for reset here. What they do is they build this entire unit and then they software configure what's going on. And so the button, they probably leave it there mechanically, but doesn't do anything on this one with no demand. And that's the CE model. Now if you go back and look at a Here's another model here that's for transformer rated from the dark ages here. It's got a lot of different windings on here for measure voltage and current, but the demand feature on the old type, physically you'd rotate around and it pushes the dial back. This is a VM66A meter, class 10, 240 volts, four wire delta. The class 10 meant that this is only 10 amperes uh, for the current portion because this is designed for current transformers. So you've got a current transform over here that generally is say 200 amps to 5 amps and then the 5 amps goes into here on each phase and then when it's running the peak demand will go up here like this over the 15 to 30 minute period depending on how it's programmed or set up and then once a month utility worker will go ahead and turn this down and it'll move the back down here to zero. So an electronic meter like this that's non resettable as a smart device they go through and physically take the little tab over here and push it down it's going to physically hit this button. But again this CE model the E has no demand feature. And if you take an old time one like this, that's the register M30, but the demand feature actually has a heating element in there. And they usually had them for 30 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on uh, what type of uh, service you had or what type of plan you had. And so it would physically heat up something to rotate this around, so what it does. 
this type of fits all meters by GE has been around for probably want to say 10 to 15 years there's all different variants on these things there's a KV I think a KV2 a C a C plus and then you've got recorder settings on here this is the soft switches which I'm not all that familiar with what they do but there's all different variants on these things how way they can be programmed in fact the cover of this will actually come off you can pop this off and rechange this if they want to uh, make it a different version again this particular model the recent the demand is not in a CE model like this so even if you try to put a paper clip in here you can't reset the demand it's just something that's not in there demand is used for billing in the sense that uh, they look at the peak demand for that month and the way I'm billed here in the three phase meter is that um, you build at least in a rate schedule for five uh, kilowatts then it goes you know 10 15 20 25 you use a whole bunch of power once let's say you have a demand of 30 kilowatts that you pay high more per kilowatt hour with a higher demand because they have to have bigger transformers and uh, all down the line and power capability for that so on a commercial account they tend to go ahead and have a demand meter and this three phase meter without a demand is kind of an odd duck and that's really the purpose of this memo videos because I've really almost never seen it's very rare you'll see a three phase meter uh, today without a demand and this is I I don't know if it's called re-economy I went and Google searched this and found some references uh, not in the GE literature but some specifications for some buildings where they this meter is mentioned and it says it's a non-demand meter and that's really the purpose of this is and that's what I figured with the ND is that's no demand there's a guy that sells meters in Miami and he has this particular one and he says it's uh, non-demand and that uh, keyed me up because I bought this meter and it was supposed to have demand but he didn't have one so this is actually getting a return in it and ND is another Q the CE that is a demand meter you can see how small this meter is here the older meters mechanical are bigger here's one from a Texas service company from 1952 this is three phase it has a demand that will go up and this particular model here actually is not transformer rated it's a 15 amp device uh, generally in this type of service from the 50s they had a 4 to 1 uh, overload production so this is really a 60 amp meter it has fairly big lugs on here 7 jaw so this will work on a 3 phase delta with a high leg model AJ4 MAK this is 240 volts 7.2 kVA it's got two elements here there's the third element three phase four wire delta and it's a VM6S it's what this particular model is VM6S I know we were using this one on a air conditioner to measure the uh, total load and the peak power and we got this one from an internet dealer and it has no demand so that's why it's being swapped out for one that has demand but that one will fit in plug for plug versus this older meter the ratings with time on this thing this is a 16 inch S meter too the 15 on this the particular way was the 4 to 1 
ratio so this was a 60 amp device this is a class 200 lugs are a little bit thicker on that one it's got no weight for this plastic it's kinda goofy in the sense that you think it's almost a Toys R Us model uh, I think the older models like this I'll be biased are more gorilla proof for lightning and things you might have a winding go bad with an over voltage but uh, solid state ones I've actually had some die of some other brands just the whole display get screwed up uh, I'm not sure if it's just bad design or just over voltage or whatever this type of meter here is an A socket where this physically has wires go in and that's what the A is on here that is one that has a it's non socketed this is a, called a socketed meter of course and that's what the S is here for socket and the S over here in a socket from 52 is the same thing the socket I believe came out in the 30s this is a type A where to replace the meter you physically have to undo the wires and then plug them in uh, this is a socketed non socket but this is the A type device we've got inputs and outputs for the current You also have these over here for the sense on the coils for the current. This is a net type S meter for socketed. Plugs in a socket, of course. Of course, this is a socketed meter. That's why there's an S here. This has an A. This is a type A base. Which you undo. This one you have to physically undo the wires and replace the whole meter. There's no socket. And Duncan used to make these years ago. They got bought out. You can see the aluminum. It looks like a parking meter because they made Duncan made parker meters, I believe, in uh, Lafayette, Indiana, I believe, back in the day. So to place one of these is more a pain in the butt because you got to physically undo all these wires just to swap the meter out. Socketed came out, I believe, in the I believe in the 30s, uh, but the A's are still around. There's still some of these still in use, like this lot of A type.